so many of us hate our bodies. We treat it like our biggest enemy and keep fighting with it. Today, in this video, I want to talk to you about how to fall in love and fully accept your body as it is now. Hi love, my name is Magda Kay. I am intimacy coach, tantra teacher, and the founder of the School of Intimacy. And welcome! You're in the right place to get all the tips, insights, and techniques to enjoy the most fulfilling and amazing intimate life. So let's talk about loving your body. For me, this journey has not been easy. For years, I had this inner voice that kept saying, your hips are too big. It's because this is what I heard from my father for most of my life. Today, however, I feel more comfortable and confident in my body than I have ever before. And I'm also the biggest that I've ever been before. I want to tell you how I got here. So first, I want you to think about anything that you dislike or are repulsed by. For me, these are spiders and most of insects. So when I see a spider, I have a physiological reaction in my body. I tense, I contract, and I pull away. I wanna go as far as I can away from the spider. Ideally, I'd have someone just kill it. The same happens with your body. So the reaction you have towards a spider or anything that you are repulsed by is the same thing that happens in your relationship to your own body. So we are not necessarily aware of this, but you contract and you tense, which means you're in a constant state of stress and you want to get away from your body, meaning from yourself, which actually creates this association that causes numbness and can also cause difficulties experiencing pleasure and orgasm. As a consequence, we don't look at our body, we don't touch it, we don't listen to it. We're a stranger. We have no relationship with it. There's one thing that all people who dislike their bodies have in common and is that they don't actually know how they truly look like. They've created this idea about their body that it's wrong, that it's ugly, it's too skinny or too big. And it's so deeply ingrained in their brain that they don't actually see their body for what it is in reality. So think of this friend that you and everyone else thinks that they're so pretty, so attractive, but they don't see that. That's exactly what I'm talking about. So last year I put on extra weight. It was because of emotion eating, but also over the last couple of years, I've been doing CrossFit, so I got bigger. My muscles got bigger and I've been eating way more to sustain this type of training. So you have extra muscles, extra fat, and I got to the point when I got the biggest and the heaviest that I ever was before. And on top of this, I couldn't fit into some of my like sure clothes. So, you know, the few dresses that I had that if I ever put on weight, like this was like my safe bed, I could always fit into those. Well, now I couldn't. So I felt really bad. And as a way to punish myself, I would obsessively look in the mirror and pointing, look how bad you look. I would compare myself to others and nonstop just looking in myself saying, look how big you got. Now, what happened was something I did not expect. And it's that the story about my body has actually changed. Now, looking back and seeing the consequence of what I was doing, I know what happened. This is actually a strategy that is used to help people overcome their phobias. So if you really repulse something by, for example, spiders, progressive exposure to that thing helps us overcome the phobia, stop being repulsed by it, and actually maybe even enjoy the thing. So what I was doing, even though unconsciously, is that I was exposing myself to what was repulsing me, meaning my body. So if right now you struggle to accept your body as it is, start looking at yourself and look at yourself as often as you can and ideally in the full length mirror. 
Now, at first, this may be really challenging. Looking at your own reflection, you may really think that you look horrible and you may feel super guilty, you may even cry. But continue. Continue and something magical will start happening. You'll move from being negative about your body to being neutral. So you will look at your reflection and you'll think, well, it's not so bad. And if you keep going, you're gonna go to the next step, which is moving from the neutral opinion about your body to a positive one. Meaning one day you will look in the mirror and you'll be like, huh, I actually, I actually quite like what I'm seeing. This is the exact process that I went through. And again, like I told you, I am the biggest I've ever been, and I'm also the most comfortable in my body that I've ever been. So please give it at least two months. Don't give up before that. I know, like I said, it may be challenging, but stick with the process. It's been actually proven by psychologists that this works. The more you expose yourself to your own body, the more you will start seeing the reality instead of the story that you created of how bad your body is. I hope that this video has been helpful for you and I really hope that you will give it a try. And love, if you did like it, please give it a like and share it with anyone who needs to hear this message. If you would like more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I share something every week. And for daily updates and a sneak peek into my private life, make sure to follow me on Instagram as well. Thank you so much for being here. And if you are on the journey of falling in love with your body, I understand this and know that it is absolutely possible to change this relationship. The way you are right now is already perfect and your body truly deserves your love. Thank you once again for being here and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye.